Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make seawater, artificial seawater. Uh, the benefits of using artificial seawater is that there is less risk or pretty much zero risk of introducing diseases into the tank as opposed to using fresh seawater or natural seawater. Uh, but we'll talk about um, the pros and cons about fresh uh, natural seawater versus artificial seawater. Um, so in this process, what I'm doing, I've already pre-measured uh, two liters of water. So to which we should be adding um, at, with all, I guess, um, seawater type. Um, what do you call them? Buckets that you buy, they usually have a little bit of a recipe on how you do it. So for two liters of water, um, make trying to make it at about 33 parts per thousand. I'll be using 70 grams for 2 litres of water. So we'll measure that out. Which the weighing scale has just gone to sleep on us. So we'll just turn that back on, make sure it's paired. To which we'll measure 70 grams of, water, uh, of sea salt. That's about it. And then basically just pour that into the bucket and give it a good swish around. May take a few couple of minutes maybe to get it all dissolved. Uh, but it should all dissolve uh, before adding it to the tank. Um, you probably need to add a bit of anti chlorine and also you may need to sort of preheat the water. If um, if it's a big volume that you'll be like doing a water change in your tank, so what are the pros and cons of natural versus artificial seawater? Artificial seawater is actually natural seawater that's been dehydrated uh, to produce a salt, similar to how you get your salt in your normal cooking salt. But that's that tends to be made from maybe sort of uh, sort of inland salt lakes, uh, whereas this artificial seawater tends to be made from, or is made from, seawater that's been just pretty much dehydrated. Uh, the benefits of using artificial seawater is that, um, yeah, as said earlier, you won't be introducing any diseases um, that can be carried in natural seawater, but it can sort of be quite expensive. Uh, but it is very highly convenient. Um, the sort of the bag of salt that, or the bucket of salt that you buy it can pretty much last you <coughs> for until you finish using it. Um, whereas in natural seawater, it may come with uh, sort of invertebrates and any sort of um, flora, microflora that are in it, and you may need to keep it alive. So you may need to keep um, some aerating the water so make sure that they don't die. Um, I guess the I guess the sort of the cons of having um, s natural seawater is mainly I guess the the weight of the water uh, you need to store it and also potential of um, introducing diseases. So there you have it. It's pretty much all dissolved, and that should be ready to be added into your fish tank. 